I think it's definitely been like more than a year uh, that I tried to install NVIDIA app, but I always got an error. And this is the error that I always got. And I always give up because nothing actually worked. And I tried all the videos, all the solutions. Still, I got there was a problem with NVIDIA app. So instead of giving you a specific solution, which I actually share with you what I, what I actually use, I'm going to give you something that should work for most people. And how I solved it, I actually use a really powerful tool that we all can have access to, and this is AI. Or more precisely, because I use several of them, the smartest, in my opinion, is ChatGPT. So one of many engineers do, or those, you know, expert programmers, if you have an issue, what they ask you for a log file. They want to check the log file to see if you have problems. And they can analyze the log files and give you a solution if they can find a problem. And instead of giving that to an expert or somebody in a forum, just copy paste it, we're going to paste it into AI. So this can be a solution for many issues that people might have. This is also the only solution that worked for me after I tried so, so many times. So basically, we're going to go to this URL. Again, uh, change the user ID to your user ID. Uh, I think this is where you should locate it. That's actually where it was located for me in Windows 11. So again, for me in Windows 11, this is the location. And there's going to be a file, debug.log. Now, before we do that, I recommend doing a few things. The first thing I wanted to try just to run it as administrator. It's very simple. Sometimes it's a problem with permission as it was for me, but it, I, I couldn't solve it with one as administrator. But give it a try. It just takes a few seconds. I'm not going to cover all the different options here because, again, I let the AI find you, the solution for you. But give it a try. If it doesn't work, do two things. Uninstall NVIDIA app. Uh, go to add remove programs, uninstall NVIDIA app and restart your computer because again, there might be corrupted files and you don't want to deal with that. Uh, so just making sure that it's kind of clean install. Uh, I'm not telling you now install all NVIDIA stuff. Some people say this once and it might help for some. So just as general knowledge is located in this address, this is a tool called DDU. You can just search DDU and you're going to find it. This is basically install uh, all NVIDIA drivers and just, you know, uninstall any, everything, remove everything that is kind of left over that might cause issues. I didn't do it again, but I'm just mentioning it here. So you know, this exists. Now, next, I want you to reinstall the NVIDIA app and run it. And you should get the arrow. Uh, well, you should again, if you're here. Uh, so once you get the error, the reason we are doing it again, because we need to have a new fresh uh, debug log file available there. Once we uninstall, of course, before uh, the NVIDIA app, the debug log file won't be there. So run it again, get the error, close the app, and just go to chargypt.com. We don't need to have a paid account, just sign up so we can actually get there. We're going to use the base uh, uh, prompt there in order to ask this question. Now, this is why I ask you can ask something slightly different, of course, find why NVIDIA app not working and copy paste the debug log the text in the debug.log uh, in that location after uh, that question inside the prompt in chat gpt now this is what it wrote for me uh, basically i mean i try with the previous one and then i restarted and try with the new uh, after installing the nvidia app again and it went over everything and it actually found for me that was permission issue for me specifically it might be by the way your solution as well so it actually wrote a few things, but the most important thing that actually um, uh, Google's uh, Gemini wasn't able to give me the solution is um, doing, uh, as you can see, permission reset. So it gave me actually a PowerShell that I need to run. And basically what I did, I just uh, uh, just click the Windows key, right PowerShell, right click run as administrator and just copy pasted this command and it will ran, ran, it ran automatically. And this was actually what solved the issue for me. I mean, I restarted the computer and then it solved for, I mean, for, it, it seems like for years I tried to solve this without luck. So this is why I'm saying this is kind of one solution that fits all because eventually if there is an issue, you're going to see it in the log and uh, you just need to provide the log uh, to ChatGPT and we analyze it and offer you a solution. Of course, there might be some side effects to it, even if you try to do what it actually gave me, do it at your own risk. But I'm just saying, uh, you're gonna get a solution that fits your own problem. So instead of just going over so many videos, each one and some, some of them are repeating the same thing, you're gonna get a solution specifically for your problem. So basically, ChatGPT is doing what an expert would have done. We'll ask you to, well, show me the log file where all the errors and issues and warnings are actually located. Like people do with many apps and maybe websites 
checking the console, see errors, because the error itself is not really, uh, you know, can understand anything from it. It's really kind of a generic error message. And it's, it's the problem, by the way, people can understand what's the problem. It's an underlying problem that's related to maybe things related to Windows, the app itself, permissions, other stuff that you want to actually see yourself, but it's inside that log. And basically that's it. That's the way for me to help you solve the issue for you. And hopefully it will. Again, there could be many issues, but instead of just trying to see so many videos and, and some and repeat themselves and many things that don't really work, this is more likely to work for you because it's more tailored to your specific problems based on the log. Thanks for watching. Give a like if you find this one useful and give a comment if it helped you out. Thanks for watching.